Well, the funny thing is that two of my cousins cannot get a bank account. I was trying to make, a, I was trying to do a wire transfer t- to them, and they said, "Well, we can't have a bank account because of check systems." Okay, check system. Well, guess what? In today's conversation, I want to break it down for you. I want to explain to you what check system is. I want to tell you everything you need to know. Don't go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of uh, the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee, RT, or vodka, LS roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to talk to you about a reporting agency called Check System. They're just hidden. They are working behind the scenes, but they are so important. So important. The base Check System is basically a banking reporting agency that collects information about your previous problems with deposit accounts, including checking and savings accounts. Have you had a problem in the past when it comes to banking? Talk to me, talk to me, because if you've had a problem or two problems or 1 million problems, your data is currently in check systems. That's for sure. So the, the agency maintains a report of your banking activities, which banks and credit unions can use to determine whether to approve your application for a new checking or savings account. The bottom line here is that banks and credit unions are trying to cover their ass, right? They're not trying to bring on, on they're not trying to onboard risky customers, okay? So I want you to think of check systems as the bank account screening consumer reporting agency. They work behind the scenes of the financial system to help financial institutions pre-screen new customers applying for bank accounts. If this is kind of analogous to credit bureaus, right? So when you apply for a credit card or a loan, the lender or credit card issuer will go to Experian, TransUnion, or Equifax to have more information about you. The same thing happens when you apply for a bank account. They just want to make sure you are clean, okay? And check systems report contain information about past banking mistakes, including unpaid fees and fraudulent activity. And they don't really care whether you are responsible for the fraudulent activity or a victim of it. No, as long as this is attached to your name, you're going to have an entry in your in the check systems. So the bottom line here is that you got to make a decision, big decision time. And I want you to talk to me right now. Look at look at the, the yourself and tell me, have you had problems in the past with check systems? or problems with the banking industry? Or are you on the verge of having a problem with the banking industry? If yes, you wanna take all the steps that you need to clean it right now. We have an entire show focused on that, but I will briefly talk about the steps you can take to clean that, or at least to avert a situation that will be uh, detrimental for you in the future. I will talk about that briefly into this conversation, but we do have an entire show focused on that. Let me get started on reporting. So when we talk about check system, how does a check system report work? Basically, this agency keeps track of your deposit accounts. Deposits. So when we talk about deposit, we are speaking about savings accounts and checking accounts. And in some cases, they keep track of your investment accounts. Okay. So for instance, if you have a hybrid retirement planning slash savings account, let's say you have a a money market IRA account, or you have a CD account, they they actually track that too. So what they, what they do is they keep track of all your deposit accounts with banks and credit unions, and they create a report with that information to show your account activities and the reasons your past accounts have been closed. This is a keyword here. Why were your past accounts? Why were, were your past accounts closed? Okay. At the end of the day, it's all about money, 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 right? You didn't pay or you couldn't pay, whatever it is, money, money, money. So here are a handful of examples of items you might find on your check system report. Involuntary account closure, bounced checks and overdrafts, unpaid negative balances, 
account card or ATM abuse, suspected fraud or identity theft, number of accounts applied for applied for recently. So this is this is not of course an exhaustive list, but it tell it gives you an idea of what you can find on your on your check system report. Okay, so whenever bottom line is whenever you apply for a new checking or savings account. The financial institution will check your check system report to determine to determine whether you are a good risk, quote unquote, good risk or a bad risk. That's what it is. OK. And uh, the, the, the one thing I just want to say here is that please be aware of this. And as you cultivate a banking relationship, as you cultivate a relationship with your credit union, with your local bank, with your national bank, with your community bank, with your regional bank, I want you to pay attention to making sure that you don't have unpaid unpaid negative balances because those things have consequences if you if you think there is fraudulent activity around your account you want to close it you want to report it to law enforcement or to the banks okay you want to look for uh, unpaid fees clean that up if you have some public records that are detrimental to yourself please clean that up or have a statement so that the bank knows what really happened okay very important Let's talk about the, the copy of the report. How do you get a copy of your check system report? This is important, right? Because how can you fix something? Talk to me. How can you fix a problem on your on your check system report if you have no idea what the report looks like? Okay. Well, luckily, the Fair Credit Reporting Act makes it possible for consumers to access the check systems report once every 12 months for free. This is kind of similar to uh, the the ability to get a free copy of your credit report every 12 months. So you can go to a website called annualcreditreport.com to get a copy of your TransUnion, Equifax, or Experian report once once a year. The same thing is kind of the same thing applies here. Okay, so you can also get a free copy if you've been denied a checking or a savings account in the past 60 days. Also, I want you to remember that if you have been denied a bank account, the bank or a credit union is also required to disclose the reason or reasons for the denial. They got to tell you. They can't just say, listen, we don't want your business. No, no, no. You better tell me why you don't want my business. Okay. You need to explain to me. You need to back up. You need to, substan to uh, substantiate why you don't want my business. You want to give me a chance to fix whatever was on, on my uh, check system report, right? So you can get a copy of your check system report online through the Consumer Reporting Agency website. So the this is Check Systems uh, website. Over the phone, you got to call 1-800-428-9623. Remember that, 1-800-428-9623. You can download and fax a request form to the number is 602-659-2197. Again, the number that this is the fax number 602-659-2197. Or you can download and mail a request form to Check Systems Attention Consumer Relations 7805 Hudson Road, Suite 100, Woodbury, Minnesota 55125. We'll put all the address on the on the uh, on the screen. So so that's that. Now, how do you know if you have a check system file? The thing here is that Many people never have an issue that, re that requires them to investigate their own check system file. But again, you will only know that you have a file if you have been uh, if you've been applying for an account at a credit union or a bank and you've been denied and you've been denied continuously. OK, this is the only way you can tell, because remember, the bank or credit union needs to document why they denied you. So if they mention the word check system, you know, you have you have an entry on that on uh, you have an entry with check system okay now let's talk about cleaning things up right so i spoke to you about your check systems report but did you know that you have a score yeah <laughs> Check systems assign each person a consumer score based on how risky they are to open a bank account. In other words, they're just looking at you and like, okay, no, 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 this guy or this lady, she's just crazy. She is, she is a high risk. Do not allow her to open an account with you guys. That's basically what check system is telling banks and credit unions. So you do have a score. So once you have an entry 
once you have a, an entry with check system, you have a score. So the check system score ranges from 100 to 899. So you go from 100 to 899. And a higher score indicates a lower risk. This is kind of analogous to a credit score. A higher, the higher the score, the lower the risk. Okay, so you can request your personal check system consumer score via mail or fax. So, doubtless to say, like if you have a, a check system score in the 100, 150, 200, you know you really, really need to uh, fix a lot of things in your financial life, right? <laughs> You've been probably part of a lot of things that really contributed to bringing your score down and you you need to start fixing it right now big decision time let me talk to you now i want you to talk to me right now one thing you need to understand is that what is your check system score in other words have you been have you been denied bank accounts at credit unions and um banks because unlike a credit score which you may track closely to monitor your overall credit worthiness your check systems consumer score will, will usually be it will not be important to your everyday financial life you are welcome to request your that score but you probably don't need to know what your score is unless you have been declined for a bank account or want to know why it happened right and what we want to say here is that this is a score that is typically more useful to banks and credit unions than it is to consumers okay so unless you've had a history of serious problems with managing a bank account you usually will not have to think about your check system report or score at all. And how do you clean it up? How do you clean up a check system report? I told you, I explained it to you what the things you need to do, right? Once you receive it, you can check for negative items. Legitimate information will typically stay on your report for five years, which can make it challenging to get approved for a bank account. So depending on the situation, there, there are some possibilities when it comes to cleaning up your check system report. Okay, so if you have things like uh, if you have a negative balance due because of overdraft and NSF fees, please try to pay them. Contact the furniture of that data, contact the bank and offer to pay the debt. Because once the debt is satisfied, you can file a request with the bank, credit union or collection agency to, to update or remove the negative, the negative item from your check system report. Okay, that's what it is. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Studio Q Show. We are actually having a conversation about what check system is, okay? And I've been talking to you about, I, I define the agency, what they do, they kind of report the issue, why they are so quintessential to the banking system. Now, I want to talk to you about the FICO impact. Does a check system report affect your credit score? Because this is a legitimate question. People are thinking, hey, you know, if I have a low check system score does that affect my uh, FICO in other words is there a direct correlation between your FICO score and a check system score not necessarily your check system report has no direct impact on your credit score however if you have been denied a check in your savings account and have a ding on your check system report this may be a sign that you've had difficulties in the past that may also have an impact on your credit score history right because if, if you think about it it's all about financial responsibility it's all about financial diligence it's all about being a good person a good citizen in terms of how you manage your finances okay also if you have a negative balance on a checking account that's been sent to a debt collection agency that agency may choose to report the collection account to the national credit bureaus which can harm your credit score Okay, so this is things that you have to think about. I was just talking to you earlier about the possibility to check your credit score for free. You have credit monitoring services, and those are free. You have uh, Credit Karma, you have Nerd Wallet, you have Wallet Hub, you have uh, Credit Wise. This, this is a service from Capital One. You do have uh, similar services from uh, Amex, Citibank, the whole nine years. A lot of credit card issuers offer this credit monitoring service for free nowadays. So when you have an account with them, when you have a card with them, this is kind of cool. You can just uh, sign up for the service where you are able to monitor your FICO score. But to sort of uh, finalize this debate, 
there is no direct correlation between your FICO score and your check system score okay and one thing you need to understand here is that at the end of the day everything boils down to what financial responsibility because when we talk about check system entries you probably will be there you will be there if you had you had uh, been associated with fraudulent activity or unpaid debt most people are not associated with uh, fraud but people have problems every now and then and they might have some unpaid debt so just fix it just fix the cause of the of the cut the cause of the situation and the situation by itself will go away So speaking about that, I want to talk to you about remedies because uh, this is important. I will, just, you know, you need to focus on making good financial choices because everybody understands that, you know, getting denied a bank account can be a frustrating and discouraging experience. Everybody knows that. Think about it. Nowadays, everything happens online. Everything happens electronically. So if you don't have a bank account, if you have to do everything with cash, that's just that's just crazy. That's just very complicated. Right. But please. Do not let the fact that you have been denied for a bank account sap your motivation to improve your financial life. Those are two separate things. Everybody makes mistakes. You just, it's not, you can fall one time, you can slip one time, but get yourself back up and just go back, go back there and try to improve whatever needs to be improved. You want to fix whatever needs to be fixed. You want to put some arrangements in your financial life. You, you can use software, you can use free apps, to monitor your financial life one thing it's very important to do is that you want to pay attention to money you want to pay attention to how you manage your money how you, you how you spend your money how you make money this is quintessential to making good financial choices all right do you have a do you have a full-time job do you have a second job what is your dti what is your debt to income ratio talk to me about those Okay, talk to me about your credit utilization ratio. If you don't have a credit card right now, are, are you, do you have disposable income every month? Talk to me about those things. And also talk to me about credit cards. Credit card, credit card, credit card. Because at the end of the day, if you are making financially irresponsible choices, those choices will affect your credit score, but also your check system score, right? And this might affect your ability to get credit cards. Because nine times out of 10, those banks are the same that issue credit cards also. They have your data. If, if they know you are basically bad on the banking side, they're not going to give you a credit card, right? So those are things you need to pay attention to, okay? You want to monitor those. And when we talk about focusing on making good financial choices, that's only one option or one part of the equation. The other side of the equation is to focus on identity theft you want to protect your identity because as i said before if you have an entry on check system that means that you either have unpaid debt or you have been you have been associated with identity theft or fraudulent activity and sometimes you may not be responsible at least 90 percent of folks are now responsible for fraud they have been victim of fraudulent activity so you need to cover yourself you need to protect yourself and let's finally talk about the action plan, folks. So it's important to understand that if your check system report is incorrect, there are ways you can fix those problems. You can reach out to the furniture of the data, the bank or credit union. You can reach out to check systems itself and you want to have as much proof as possible. It's very important. Anything that can substantiate your claim Anything that can really help you in terms of defending yourself and proving that you indeed are right, you, you want to have it. And remember that uh, you are basically, you, you have some rights, okay? You have the right to see your own personal check systems report for free every 12 months. You have the right to submit a dispute and request an investigation of inaccurate or incomplete information on your check system report. Okay, you basically have to understand that you have the right to know that the checks, your check system report or score has been used against you 
in a banking decision. And one thing you need to also understand is that if you have been denied a checking account, there are other options. Big decision time, big decision time. You don't have a bank account. You have applied and they said, no, we don't want you. Okay. Did you know that there's something called second chance checking accounts? Don't get me wrong. Those are kind of expensive. They have fees sometimes, but hey, temporarily you can use them to get back into the financial system because your check system entries will last for five years. But in the meantime, you, you, you need to have a checking account. You need to have a, you might need to have a savings account. Okay. So you can give a second chance checking account a chance. You can also use a prepaid card. So prepaid cards can also work as an alternative to standard checking. So a prepaid card account can receive both check and cash deposits. And like many low risk checking accounts, prepaid cards are likely to come with monthly fees, but some banks will waive the fees if you have a recurring direct deposits made to the account. So this is something that you need to always think about. Obviously, it's always a great idea to shop around. You want to compare alternatives. You want to see what's really happening. You do have options. That's the bottom line. I want you to really, uh, the takeaway from this show is that you have options. If you are in a situation right now where you have been shut off from the banking system because of uh, past mistakes or because of fraudulent activities, you can still get back in after, after a while, but you need to do a few things, but you do have options. Thank you so much for your attention, folks. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was just talking to you about everything you need to know about check systems. I gave you the a definition of the a review, if you will, of uh, this agency. The kind of reports the issue, how you can request a copy of your report, how, how to clean up your report, your FICO, whether there was uh, a direct affiliation between the FICO score and the check system score, what kind of remedies you can put in place, and the action plan. Thank you so much for your attention. I'll speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.